Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for this Nebraska program early Wednesday morning as they move extremely quickly and find their next athletic director in Troy Dannon coming over from the University of Washington. And two things really stand out to me. One, Troy Dannon is a phenomenal hire. There's This is an athletic director that I have a ton of respect for, not only during his short stint at the University of Washington, but what he did at Tulane. What he did at Northern Iowa, an extremely impressive resume, but more importantly for Nebraska fans, there was a lot of chatter when Texas A&M goes and poaches Trev Alberts that this Nebraska program doesn't carry as much weight as it used to. Nebraska just goes out and lands a sitting athletic director of an athletic program that just had a football team compete for a national championship Nebraska is not going anywhere. And I think this is a massive hire for this Huskers program. I want to get into Troy Dan and talk a little bit about what he brings to this athletic program before we do. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive shout out to the Nebraska fans. Any chance I get to talk some Nebraska football, you guys know I'm taking up on it. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. If y'all do enjoy the content, enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, Let's get into Troy Dannon. I first want to start with the phenomenal resume that Troy Dannon has. Now, he gets to Washington on October 9, 2023, in the middle of the national championship run for Washington. And obviously, Washington closes out on an extremely impressive season in 2023. But you look at what Troy Dannon did during his short stint at Washington – I think he makes a phenomenal hire and Jed Fish in a very difficult spot where Kalen DeBoer leaves this Washington program late in that coaching hire cycle. And we were kind of saying this is a tricky spot for Washington to be in. I don't think a lot of people saw that move coming. Nobody saw Nick Saban retiring coming. And what is Troy Dannon able to do? Go out and land one of the more well-respected head coaches in the country in Jed Fish. I said when Jed Fish took that job at Washington, I thought that was a phenomenal hire and really a masterclass performance by Troy Dannon, but that's not his only experience making massive moves that help football programs. You go back to his time at Tulane where he hires Willie Fritz. Willie Fritz makes incremental steps in the right direction for this Tulane program, but what's most impressive is in 2021, Willie Fritz went 2 and 10 with this Tulane program. There was a lot of noise across college football that Willie Fritz was going to be out as Tulane's head coach. Troy Dannon remains really, really patient. He sees that it's going in the right direction. The next two years, Tulane goes back to back 10 plus win seasons, was kind of the, the kind of clear best team in the group of five. I think Troy Dannon, not only a phenomenal hire with Jet Fish, but showing that he had a phenomenal hire with Willie Fritz, but also had the patience to kind of stick with Willie Fritz, I think really shows his athletic director and leadership chops. And then you go back to his time at Northern Iowa, where Northern Iowa was kind of a perennial powerhouse, powerhouse as a football program. This is an athletic director that has proven time and time again that he knows how to run not only an athletic program, but a football program. And I think when you have a guy like Troy Dannon that comes to Nebraska with a ton of experience in the Midwest, having graduated from UNI, having been the athletic director for UNI, I am extremely excited about the marriage of this program. And I think what excites me the most is you look at what Troy Dannon I think is best at. I think he's best at raising money. And all the interviews that I've been able to listen to with Troy Dan, and he talks about fundraising. And you having an athletic director that is an expert in terms of fundraising, and then you have an athletic program that has probably the most passionate fan base across all sports with this Nebraska program, especially in the football community. You are combining an athletic director that knows how to raise money with probably the most passionate fan base that you see across the country and a fan base that is extremely excited about the Matt Rule era. This is, I think, a perfect marriage. Not only does he have experience in the Midwest, but he has experience fundraising. And now he gets to come to a program that has arguably one of the biggest and most passionate fan bases that you see in the country. This is, in my opinion, a perfect match. I think Troy Dannon is a phenomenal athletic director. And quite frankly, I mean, you look at Trev Alberts and Troy Dannon, I'm not going to say a negative thing about Trev Alberts. I know a lot of Nebraska fans love him. It hurt to see him leave, but he did a phenomenal job as the athletic director. Troy Dannon 
has a much more impressive resume than Trev Alberts did coming in and taking over that Nebraska athletic program. I think this is a really good hire. I'm extremely impressed by this Nebraska program and how quick they were able to make this happen. And I think the future is extremely bright, not only for Nebraska as a football program, but as an athletic program as well. Give Nebraska a ton of props for making this happen. And again, we all questioned, not we all, but a lot of people questioned the, the, the pull that Nebraska has as an athletic program, they just went out to the University of Washington. Again, a football program that just played for a national championship and landed their sitting athletic director. I think that quiets a lot of voices that saying that Nebraska, maybe not the athletic program that we all remember. A phenomenal hire, fired up about this one. We'll continue to talk about it as the story continues to play out. Wanted to hop on, give you guys some of my thoughts. Appreciate y'all rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll talk to y'all later.